All right, guys, here we go. I'm on my way to Mar del Plata. So, guys, look at here. So, this is the bus stop. I mean, super easy to get here from anywhere in the city. I mean, it's no more than 10 to 15 minutes from where I was staying, which is Palermo. I mean, and, and Palermo is the best place to stay. So, I would always suggest for you guys to stay in Palermo. They also got San Telmo, which is another nice area for you to, you know, for you to get a nice Airbnb or stay at a hostel or hotel. But, I mean, I, I'd rather Palermo because there's nothing but bars, clubs, and, like, entertainment around that area. So, here, again, bringing it back um, to the bus stop. Yeah, I'm already in the bus, ready to go. Um, my ticket was, I think it was 17,000 pesos, which is equal to, like, I mean... I think uh, I'm gonna put the, the let me go look for it and I'll put it up on the screen but I'm pretty sure it's like like ten dollars or something like that but I mean it was a six hours ride this is on the way six hours ride man it's a long 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 trip but the good thing is that you can see the seat man it's very comfortable it's super reclinable and this is not even the the best one. There's other ones that go all the way down that is like a bed. This uh, this is actually the regular seat because when I got there, they were already sold out. Otherwise, I would have gotten the, you know, the VIP one. But this one was actually good. And I was so tired from the night before because I didn't sleep at all. I went from the club to the bus stop. So you can't imagine. I just I slept for like six, the whole six hours, I think. Man, maybe not the whole six hours, but I, I slept a lot. And it was, look at these guys. See how comfortable it is? Super comfortable, man. So I will definitely advise for you guys to do the bus. Or you could do the train. The train is a little longer than the bus, actually. I don't know how is that because they have no red lights or nothing like that. At least we have to deal with traffic, red lights, and stuff like that. This is me getting to Mar del Plata. Let, let me explain. Yo, what's up, guys? What it do? What it do? We just got here, Mar del Plata. Just got off the bus. So I just wanted to talk to you guys for a bit. Um, left Buenos Aires at 7 a.m. Got to Mar del Plata at 12. I mean, seems like a long flight, but the bus was super comfortable. I slept the whole way through, so it was really, it was really good. Actually, I went out last night, picked up my bags, and went to the to the bus station. Easy to get to. Anywhere in Buenos Aires, just go to the bus terminal and get your ticket. And if you come into Mar del Plata, that's it. It's super, super easy. I actually bought my ticket a day in advance just in case, because sometimes it get hectic here on the weekend. Because this is a very busy um, city for people from Buenos Aires to come and spend the weekend here. So just to be sure, I got my ticket in advance. Besides that, I just got here. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna go eat real quick and then check in my Airbnb. Put you guys in a bed. All good, I feel good. We are ready to go. Brr. Gotta go get my bag here now. So guys, you know, I had to come eat something before I get to my Airbnb. I was hungry as hell. So I stopped at this place called Manolo's, right? I'm in Mar del Plata, like you guys already know. And I had to pour the Milanese, and look at this. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell how big this is. It's like huge. And it's only like $10. It has like beef. It has all kind of stuff in here, man. Let's eat it. It's huge. This I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat anything else today. And it got fries too. Oh my god.
This is good. Beef and a Milanese. It's a nice place. And try it out if you come to Mario Plata. That's free promo. Alright, hi. Alright, guys. What did I say there? Alright, guys. Um, it's another day in Mar del Plata. Today is nice and sunny out. Sunday morning. Not morning. Afternoon. Um, it's a better day for sure. Because yesterday was raining. But it's looking really nice. Down that way is the beach. I need to buy a converter for to plug in my stuff like all my electronics so let's see if we can find one then let's walk around a little bit around here so we can explore and we're gonna go to uh we're gonna go to this cafe by the beach that is supposed to be nice hopefully they have tables but it seems like people are doing brunch right now so Let's see what happens. Oh, let's go in here. They might have converters here. Hello. Buenos días. Tienes convertidor de para para poner en de convertir de Estados Unidos. Ah, eso. Sí. Tienes así. Ah, eso lo puedo. Ah, ¿cuánto cuesta este? Eh, ochocientos. Y ese sí puedo poner de Estados, como de Estados Unidos estos dos, ¿no? Sí. Ah, perfecto. Eres la mejor del planeta. ¿800 me dice? Sí. Te puedes agarrar así ahí apuntando, mami. Ahí. Gracias. Oh, 800, pues. Gracias. Guys, this was quick. Got one ready and ready to go. Muchas gracias. Una pregunta. Yo quiero comprar como para poner un, un, un chip a mi celular. ¿Dónde puedo ir a comprar uno de esos? Eh, acá en el kiosco al lado. Pero yo no tengo nada, tengo que comprar el chip, ponerle servicio, todo. Sí, acá. Ahí mismo lo cargan, si lo compras, si lo cargan. Vale, muchas gracias. No, por favor. So guys, I got this. This is what I was looking for. Then run bit quick. And then now I need to I need to get um I want to get a chip for my phone. Hola, buenos días. Aquí tienes el, el, para ponerle servicio el teléfono. Eh, los domingos no, de lunes a sábado. Lunes a sábado. ¿Sabes si puedo ir a un sitio que lo pueda hacer? Eh, por zona web o en el centro seguramente. ¿En el centro? En el centro más probable que sí. Eh, o sea, ¿y dónde, ¿está muy lejos el centro? Y será de acá en 15 minutos más o menos. 15 minutos. Sí. All right, thank you. I guess I'll do that tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to the center. Should we go? I think we need to explore this area first. Let's see what's going on around here. Good thing we got this. Because now I can set up my computer. I'm going to do a nice life. That's going to be better. This is gonna make it so easy for us. Yep, 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 yep. So let me show you guys some of this stuff. Like this is a nice place here. Hey. And then and then um ice cream shop I would really like some ice cream ah uh, maybe not now cool so we're gonna walk a few blocks down that way and then let's go get some brunch I mean when I say that way I say in the direction that we're walking towards now and then after that we could go we could go get a brunch And I think we probably might have some, we might have time to go to the center. I don't know, we play by ear. Let's see what happens. 
it's really not a lot of people in the streets like I thought it was gonna be. Here's the thing, guys, and I'm probably gonna repeat that a lot, and I'm gonna say it throughout a lot of the videos. So if I sound repetitive, it's that um, it's the truth, man, and this is what I'm seeing. And I made a mistake myself. So I said it on my live yesterday. But so it is summertime here, right? So I thought the beach and everything else was gonna be, it is open, but I thought it was gonna be like hot summer. But it's not really, it's not that hot, bro. It's not super hot. Like I see people surfing and stuff like that, but it's not like hot per se. So um, what I hear is that the summer, it gets really, really good in January. That's when people come to the beach. Like and now, I mean, even though there is someone, not a lot, not a lot of people are here. So um, I made a mistake on that one. I should have, I should have planned to come here in January. But we're here. It is what it is. We're gonna make the best of it. Last night we were now. It was fire. You guys are gonna see that content soon. And tonight we should be doing something nice too. For sure, we're gonna find something to do. But it, they said it's um it's not gonna be as crazy as as it gets in January. And January is like next month, bro. It's like in a few weeks. So I don't know how is that makes such a big difference. I guess it's the thing they. So it is what it is. We're here, and again, we're gonna make the best of it. We are having fun. I'm enjoying myself though, and it's a beautiful day out. So we're still walking around. Oh, what's the name of the street? I have to actually look at the name of the street. Cause this is like, I think this is, I think this is Allen. Is the name of the street. Cause that's, here's where like all the restaurants and the bars are. So that you guys know. If you look at it, this is packed. So, they told me about this place too, that we have. They say the cuts are good here. La Ija? La, no, La Ouija. It's a lot of people here, but it's hot. So that must be a popular one. And then let's look at the name of the street so you guys know. The name of the street is Leandro Alem. Yeah, that's the... This is the street, so you guys know. You're gonna find like a lot of restaurants in this street and bars and stuff like that. And then there's another street that I, have, I haven't been to, but when we go, we're gonna discover that. We could probably check that out later. Let's go to the beach area now and see what the beach got to offer. They also have like a complex area with like a lot of um, nightclubs on this way as well. That's what we went last night. There's like a, a few, like a, a good 10, 10, 15 clubs and bars down this way. Yo, my heart is about to come up. What the hell? Don't, don't, don't. Listen, listen, don't mess with my style. You know, the whole thing is going on here. Dude, what I tell you, what I tell you. The wind is making messing with my with my style. So here we go. The beach. Fun fact, right? Last night after the club, right? Um, I'm asking people like, yo, where we go next? Where we go next? And they're like, oh Mac McDonald's. Everybody goes to McDonald's afterwards. I'm like, McDonald's, man, I'm not eating that shit. Get out of here. But everybody, like, going to Mickey D's after, after the club, like, not me, bro. Sorry. But look where it is. It's right here in the corner. <laughs> and again, it's like a lot of people in there. For some reason, they kind of like the Mickey D's out here. All right, so, yeah. Here we go. 
So this is the area I was telling you guys about. Like you have to go down to get to the spot. So that's one spot over there. And we're here at the beach. Oh shit. So there is people that it's people down here. I thought it was gonna be dead actually. Because it's a little breezy, but oh let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. I right. it's getting better now. There's people coming up. I mean, again, guys, it's not hot, bro. Sun out, looking good, but it's, the wind is actually, it's not cold either. It's, it's like springtime in New York. It's like, I don't know what the, the exact temperature, but it would be, it's probably like 60s, like. Shit, man. Messing up with my, my, my stuff. All right, so. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk down the beach first, and then we're gonna come in. So let's make sure we're walking now. That is early. That is early. And then we get to see more people. And then later, we just come and eat. But at least, you know, we uh, we put this, this cocktail down. We get this done. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's see what's up. So, where should we go? Here? Oh, there. Oh, we go through here. All right, cool. Oh, this is nice. This is looking really nice. All right. I'm excited now. Man, I wish I knew that this was like this. I would have come earlier. I was in my apartment doing nothing. So, what do you think, guys? Should we go in this direction or in this direction? Well, I think we should go in this direction. I see some bikinis and shit, so. Let's go in this direction. Fuck it, the sign. Oh, this is nice. That way we don't have to get. <laughs> I didn't come. I'm not. I'm not ready for beach today, but we're gonna make it happen. Especially when I'm seeing this type of good-looking people out here. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Oh. I wonder if the water. I really wonder if the water is cold. It gotta be cold. If the summer just started. Oh, yeah. Probably cold. What is it? So, that looks like a beach club right here. And then, I hope this is not just a little bit of beach that. But this right here, oh, there's people surfing. This is what's up. I think in the summer they do like a big party over there. So 
not mistaken. Alright guys, so we're gonna go in the opposite direction now. We came out of the beach side. The beach is um it's alright. But this this is better. I like this right here. I think this is a beach club. Oh, and the pool is open. This is so good. Do you want to ask? Hola. Como funciona? Papa, que viene a la playa. Para, no sé, porque, o sea, como es un beach club, ¿ya? ¿sí? ¿No? ¿Es como un club de, de playa? Claro, sí. Ok. ¿Y hay que pagar diario. entrada y eso? Sí, es un alquiler por día. Por día, ¿y cuánto es? La carpa está a 30.000 por día, 30 mil pesos por día. ¿Y la carpa son estas? Exactamente, esa no. Ah, oh, ok, cool, cool, cool. Sí. Y, y, y incluye la piscina. Exactamente, la... piscina, vestuario y baño. Sí. Y baño, va. ¿30.000 por día? 30.000, exactamente. Cool, cool, cool. Ok, muchas gracias. Oh, hey, you see, that's what it is. I mean, it looks really nice out here too. Like, this could be a good option. Is it? Yes, all the all the Okay, well, well. So every day, so my depending on how it's tomorrow, the weather we might come. Today, I don't want to spend the whole day in there. We want to explore and see what else is out there. You know. Because if you're not going to spend the whole day, that makes no sense to pay for, for the whole thing. It seems like from... Oh, they told me about this spot right here. They told me about this spot right here. So. They told me to come here to the night. I don't know if it's tonight or today, but I don't know what it is, but... It's looking... Nice, though. Yeah. And it seems like this is another dish vlog, but this one... I don't know, I don't want to ask. It's probably the same thing. You pay for the whole day. But we don't want to do that right now. like a kids area as well this one is good because you can bring the whole family I can't imagine how crazy this probably gets during the high season because I think right now we are in shoulder season when it's not super crazy but it's still looking nice imagine in high season when everything is really open, because a lot of these things is like so close. Probably working on it. But imagine when it's like high season. Oh, here is another access to the beach. I don't know, guys, do you want to do feel like going this way? Yeah, let's go check it out. This is one of the clubs that we were, well, I mean, we didn't go in, but we passed by last night. 
Like going that way is like where the club starts. I mean, let's go check this out. What is this looking like? What's up? Shit. Shit. You know it's weird, I don't see a lot of people drinking. Normally you see like everybody like drinking, having fun and stuff like that. Here everybody's just lounging and checking in the sun. Alright, oh beach is here. Nice. Here's actually more of the same. This is not great. All right, guys. So we walked the whole trip. We went all the way down that way, and now we're going back again. It's like it's practically the same thing. So I don't think we need to redo it again. So what we're gonna do is what I'm like. What I'm gonna do now is. I'm gonna find a spot to sit down, eat, and then, you know, and then we take it from there. But we already walked the strip and we got everything they got to offer. There's like a lot of beach clubs on the right side, adjacent to the beach, next to the beach, and then like the clubs and the bar are on the left side of the strip. So pretty simple. And again, I mean, there's a lot of people, but it's not high summer so it's not as it should be but still like you know I want to eat something real quick
guys, just to give you a quick example, all that food that I had, like the fish with the nice drink, it's a whole bottle of like natural lemonade right there, like really good lemonade too. All of that, all of that for $8. I mean, <laughs> It's a good look, bro. It's a good look when it comes to value for your money. It's a good look. All right, guys. What's good? What's good? Man, it's another day. I be out here hanging out, chilling. I just came out of the Claro um, spot. I was um, buying a chip for my phone. I mean, I just like to have different chips from every country that I go to, to be honest. And I got this raggedy phone that I use for, you know, to install it because it's actually, um, I'm able to use it in any country as long as I change the chip. And then I have my own personal phone besides that. But anyways, besides the point, um, this is the way that they do it here in Argentina. If you are a tourist, meaning you're not from this country, you need to make sure you bring your passport because they need to validate your information. They need to make sure that your name is correctly registered in the system. So make sure that if you do want to buy a chip in Argentina, you bring the passport. They give you the chip for free at Claro, but also you could buy from a kiosk. And for the kiosk it's like 200 pesos, which is like, a, like 20 cents or something like that. So, I mean, you could do either or buy it at a kiosk. The kiosk is small stores like this one basically it's like a little store like that and they call it a kiosk um there's although there's also other stores kiosks that have like groceries and stuff like that but they super small stores and you could buy them there that's the same place so basically what they do is if you buy the chip at the kiosk you still need to come to claro because you need to bring your password and they need to register register your name and give your internet access once you do all of that, then you go back to the kiosk and purchase the minutes and the data that you're going to use. So it is a process. If that's what you need, man, that's what you need to do. I'm just giving you the info so that you guys are aware of what needs to happen. So let's continue walking around. This is um, a really popular area of um, Mar del Plata. This is called my thing in the Gumes. So everybody knows this area because it's like a lot of, um, I'm saying not of arms today, but it's a lot of like restaurants, bars and stuff like that. But look, it's, this is the name. All right. This is the name of the street. So if you're interested in going to a nice restaurant or get, getting to see more people around and stuff like that, this is the area that you need to come. There's two areas. There's that other area that we was at Allen, the Allen Street, and then it's this one um, that is super popular, man. And you can see there's a lot of people walking around. It's a regular Monday, work day, school day, and people just chilling, you know, walking around, going about the, their business. So here, there's another one. This is the store that I was telling you, like the kiosk. The calling, if you see right there, it says Kyoto, and you could buy the the minutes there. Yeah. What's up, what's up, my friend? What's going on? What's your name? Como te llamas? Alan. Alan, good. Eres acá? Okay, man. Todo bien? Okay. Todo bien, buen día. Yeah. So, guys, look at this right here. Oh, we're going to have to come back here, bro. This is looking really nice. We don't have to come back here. This is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go eat something because your boy haven't eaten. I'm on that fasting. I'm fasting today. I gotta be by. I gotta eat by four. So we need to find a spot to eat. This looks really nice over there. Some people I like it when there's a lot of people, but I don't know if they're gonna have what I want. I want meat. You know, Argentinian is no. Argentina is known for meat, really good cut. So I might get me a really big cut and enjoy it. Juicy cut. So I'm gonna look for that spot. Let's go this way, because they told me there's a lot of stuff on this way as well.
the taxi driver recommended a place for me to eat, but I don't see it. And he said it was between this black and that black, but I don't see it. Let me ask. Disculpa. Porque una pregunta. ¿Sabes un restaurante que se llama La Palma? La Paloma. La Paloma. La Paloma. Eh, es por la barriga. Tiene que hacer una, dos y media a mano derecha. Es un de una de parrilla, ¿no? No. La Paloma es o vos decís La Palma. La ¿no? Palma. La Palma. Es en esa esquina. Hace dos cuadras y la otra a mano derecha. La vale. Gracias. Ahora. Bueno. So here we go. So now we got the right spot. So the guy just told me two blacks and then we make a, I mean, we should be able to see it in two blacks. Good thing I asked, because I was going to head the other way. So again, it's supposed to be two streets around this area that are popular with restaurants and bars and stuff like that. And you guys could already see, like the restaurants are full. Mind you, mind you, restaurants here, for example, in BA in Buenos Aires, most of the restaurants close at four and reopen at seven. Don't ask me why, I don't know. This is the culture. They close at four, they open at seven. Most of the like heavy duty restaurants, the, top, the popular ones. Um, that's the thing they do here. So, gotta respect it. Where is that spot? Well, if I don't find it, there is one good here. I could go get me some nice piece of meat. Hmm. Beluga, I don't know what that looks like. You see, I don't know if you notice, a lot of restaurants are closed. Like this one's closed, the ones in the other corner are closed. So, so I guess they do that here too. It's the motto. Oh, this one is open. You see what else they got to offer. Again, guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you plan to come to um, Mar de Plata, plan to come in January or February, but January is the best time. This is when everybody heads out this way and it gets crazy. It gets really good. So plan, preferably, prefer, preferably January. If you can't make January, then February, but because that's when the summer is like at its peak okay so we should be seeing this stuff right about now oh i, I think i see it away Bandera last night, this restaurant right here, but in another one. Oh my god, delicious! Wow, I wish you guys see that. This is another Peru, but there's nobody eating there, man. I ain't eating there. But La Bandera is popping, that's that spot is fire. But I don't want to eat the same thing again, I want something different, different seasoning. Oh, I think this is the one that I'm going to. No, La Palmera, yeah. I think this is the one.
All right, let's check these out, guys. Oh, but there's nobody here. You know how I don't feel about empty places, bro. It's like not even the waiters are there. It's like nobody, 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 no one. I don't know if they open. It looks like they're closed. All right, guys, let's keep walking. This I like to choose from anyway, so that's a good thing. And we continue walking. These streets are so nice with like the little benches and stuff like that and then you have this little park across we're not gonna go in there and read the name because you guys man don't really care much about parks i know because every time i put parks and stuff in the content you guys don't even ask about it you guys just want to know about clubs what a female are, all of these type of things is the way you guys been asking. But I still want to show you some culture, like, you know, things to do, places to go besides the clubs and the bars. And this is a nice area for you guys to come visit, you know, just walk around if you are here. Look how cool is this. Because you could take a date, you know, you could take your little date out here. And sit at the park for a little bit then go eat something enjoy yourself you know it's not all about dancing this is actually a more economical experience anyways I just noticed some of the kiosks they also have Western Union. That's cool. Oh, I, lo I love the streets. Ooh, wow, ooh. Funky town? What kind of food is this? <laughs> cool. Alright. Alright guys, so we are walking into the mall. Walk around for a little bit. Probably gonna go see what the food court is looking like too. So, let's see. 
Okay, they got restaurants here, so that's nice. Hopefully they open. Cause like with that whole shit about everything is closed from four to seven. I'm, I don't agree with that. <laughs> At least today. All right, guys, so this is what we're having tonight. Check it out. We're having the big, this big steak, wine, as usual, you know, little wine. Then we're gonna get that salad with the eggs and the carrots, you know, to complete the whole thing. Of course, this is a, a holy, and then this one is very nice too, a little spicy. But this beef right here is insane, bro. Woo. All right, so this is what we're having tonight. I'm gonna try to enjoy it. Talk to you guys in a bit. I gotta show this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 